Nicholas on Facebook Live. I failed the CPA exam multiple times. Historically in school, I've been a terrible test taker. Why should I continue? Well, first of all, Nicholas, there's a lot of people who feel the same way as you and score release is tomorrow. So there'll be a lot of people who go to bed tonight wondering the same thing. So it all comes down to this. Are you going to let the AICPA beat you? Do you want to be interviewing from job for jobs five, ten years from now and walk into an interview knowing ahead of time that you're going to have to explain to them and convince them why you couldn't pass a CPA exam and why they should consider you over a, over a job candidate who has. And even if you never, like, even if you do something unrelated and never take a job position where the CPA certification or even just passing the exam, even if you never get licensed, even if you go into an, into an unrelated field, it will always kick you that you didn't pass. And so people who pass or people who fail 10 times, there was one lady who failed like 28 times and she ended up passing. And so like a year after you're all done, you will not remember all of these failures or, you know, hindsight is 2020. The past is nostalgic. Uh, people in my age group, <laughs> it sounds, makes me sound old. I'm a Gen Xer. So people, it's easy, it's easy to look back in the nineties and think, man, <clears throat> things are so much better back in the nineties. The music was so much better. Well, the nineties had a lot of problems too. And so the, the CPA exam, uh, you will, after, long after you pass, you will look back and you won't remember, you won't think about all these hard times. You will think about, you know, man, I kind of wish, I kind of, I kind of miss getting up and studying in the morning. Well, maybe not that, but, but I kind of miss feeding my brain. And so maybe I should start reading some business books because my, I really enjoyed the learning aspect. And so, um, if you're ever considering truly quitting, I would take three months off and, and I would buy a new study course. I would do anything that it takes to, for like a mental, for mentally wiping the slate clean. And there are people who like pass two sections and consider quitting because man, they just, they just, they can't pass far or, or whatever. Well, you have to mentally wipe the slate clean instead of, and, and th think of it from the perspective, wow, I only have two sections left to pass instead of, man, I, I passed two, but I can't, I can't pass these other two. So I don't know if that's helpful. Don't let the AICPA beat you. I mean, it's, it's not like the AICPA is your enemy, but it helps to create some enemy who's trying to keep you down and get you pissed off, get you organized, and um, it gives you a, um, a mental foe to go after, when in most cases the, your actual foe is probably yourself.